How's it going, Gumi Gang, and welcome back to the Shotgun Haven. In today's video, we're going to be revisiting an old, awkward shotgun that we used to talk about here on the channel that I haven't brought up in quite a while, and that is the Expedite 12. This thing was always kind of this weird stepchild of the shotgun category because it felt like it wasn't quite a spammy shotgun, and it also wasn't like a pump action. It's sort of a hybrid in between the two, but it's actually a really solid shotgun, and I want to revisit it and kind of talk about it, see if it's any better than it was in Warzone 2's life cycle, and just kind of talk about it, revisit it, and share with you guys maybe a class setup to try for it. So if that sounds good to you, let's just go ahead and hop right into it. So first we'll start off with sort of the damage and the ranges and all that good stuff as we normally do. So with the base gun, the Expedite in Warzone, you basically deal pump action levels worth of damage, which is kind of absurd given how fast you can shoot, out to about the two and a half meter mark. So you deal 200 damage up close, out to about two and a half meters, and then out to about 3.8 meters or so. It's still a two shot range, but you only deal about 150 to 156 points of damage so that's essentially your two shot range after that it'll take about three shots out to about the 10 meter mark and then past that it's going to take four shots now there was a point in this gun's life cycle where you could actually three shot basically as long as you could get hit markers with the thing it was a three shot or a two shot it was actually really cool but it was very inconsistent but unfortunately that three shot kill range was reverted when modern warfare 3 came out i remember checking the expedites numbers back when modern warfare 3 came out and yeah it's basically going to take four shots at least if you're hitting past that that 10 meter mark. Now, even though that two shot range isn't that impressive, the real thing that makes up for this thing is its rate of fire. Cause you can equip something called the Expedite L bolt, which gives you a better rate of fire. I'm sure you guys all know this. And it basically makes your time to kill with this thing. If you get two shots, your time to kill is at about 400 milliseconds, which is very, very fast. It's not the fastest in the game. There's definitely other shotguns like the Riveter. And I think the Haymaker is pretty close to this and some other builds can get very close to this, but this is pretty damn disgusting. And again, you're dealing 200 damage up close and personal. So there's definitely some utility to this thing and it's very, very strong, but it's so unforgiving at range and it's very inconsistent. And at that point, you kind of have to start treating it more like a pump action and be weaving in and out of cover. You can't just go up close and spray people like you can at point blank ranges. You're going to have to have just a little bit more finesse. Now, when I was using this thing, trying to get some gameplay with it, I found it really kind of awkward and I was having a hard time getting those two shots. I think because I just wasn't close enough. So I didn't really get many two shots with the base gun for whatever reason. It just didn't feel quite right in my hands but that's when I switched to Dragon's Breath and Dragon's Breath to me seems like it's the way to go after all the recent changes it's gotten or at least in the past Dragon's Breath to me seems like it's probably the better way to run this gun and that's because it basically takes your two shot range up a little bit further out to about that five meter mark now I will point out your max damage range increases so you still do at least 200 damage out to about 2.8 meters with Dragon's Breath but then past that out to about five meters you're only dealing 136 points of base damage but there is a burn as you know with dragon's breath and by the time you get your second shot off it's basically a two shot kill at that point you don't really have to wait for a burn that as far as i can tell so it's essentially going to be pretty much an identical time to kill up close out to about that 5.1 meters and to me this felt way more solid than the base gun and it felt like it was dealing just a lot more consistent damage overall i will say though that out past that two shot range with dragon's breath it's really even worse than the base gun because it's gonna take at least four shots because of the way that the base pellet damage works without having that burn, it takes at least four shots. So it's as always got a steep drop off with Dragon's Breath, but it makes up for it by having a great two shot range, which really isn't even that great, it's five meters, but it's just very solid. And again, the great thing about this thing is the rate of fire and also the pump action levels worth of damage. And I just wanna point out, if you don't get that two shot kill, you basically add 400 milliseconds for every shot you have to take after that. So it's pretty unforgiving as you can imagine. If it takes three shots, that's 800 milliseconds, right? So that's like slower than a pump action at this point. So you really have to be careful with your ranges. And if you are kind of far, weave in and out of cover. I promise you treat it like a pump action. You're going to do a lot better than if you just sort of run straight towards them and start spamming the gun. I know it's really tempting. It's really tempting with this gun because of how it feels and how it shoots and it's semi-auto, but you got to trust me. If you're point blank, go ahead and spam it. But if you're just like pushing three, five or 10 meters or anything like that, you might want to start being a little bit more careful careful and sort of treat it like a pump action. As for the class I've been rocking, this is basically what I landed on. Of course, I'm rocking the Bryson Choke. That's going to really help with that tight spread. And the Hipshot L20 is also good because it's one of the better lasers for your tack stances as well as your max hip fire spread, which is really important on shotguns because you move around a lot. Plus also, when you aim with this laser, it doesn't actually have a visible green laser. It's only visible from the hip. So that's another plus and why I run this particular laser. Very good. And of course, the other attachments, you pretty much recognize them, I'm 
sure you got Dragon's Breath, the Collapse Stock, which is great for mobility, and then the Expedite Elbold. And this is a Tax Dance centric build. I really don't encourage you guys to aim down sights with this thing, like fully aim down sights, because the Expedite has always been awkward because of its recoil. If you try to use slugs on this thing, you'll definitely know what I'm talking about. But this thing just bounces quite a bit, especially with that Elbold. So I would say Tax Dance is absolutely 100% the way to go, unless you're just hip firing. It's either hip fire or Tax Dance. Never go full aim down sights with this thing. I promise you. As for my overall thoughts on this shotgun, I think it's severely underrated and underused. Like, I don't think I've ever been killed by this gun in the past year or something. It's kind of crazy. I don't think I've ever seen anybody use it, except maybe Opie in one of his videos in the last year or so. But nobody uses this thing. And one of the reasons is it's got such this awkward learning curve where, again, it's sort of like a spammy shotgun. You want to spam it, but you can't really do that. And in my opinion, the best way to use it is to treat it like a spammy shotgun at closer ranges, like maybe five meters. And then when you're past that, you really want to be using cover, place your shots correctly, just treat it like a pump action. At that point, you don't really care about the time to kill. You're just trying to get your shots off, weave in and out of cover and get a three or four shot kill. Once you can kind of master how that feels, it can actually work wonders. In solos, I was doing very well with this in some games. And like I said, that two shot time to kill, it'll catch people off guard. That is very, very quick and not a lot of people are prepared for that kind of damage that fast that close so it's a really underrated shotgun but it is kind of awkward just try it out though and let me know what you think because i think it is kind of fun and i can see it kind of breaking up the monotony of the game for a lot of people who are maybe bored of it so give it a shot and now as always i want to know down below in the comments what are your thoughts on this shotgun do you prefer to run it with dragon's breath do you prefer having the base ammo so your damage drop off isn't as steep and with all that being said i will see you guys in the next video